It is freaking cold out here. Kind of like ridiculous. And there's not that much snow. Like we can make a snowball, but that's really about it. This is where we slept last night. We haven't moved a freaking inch. The fan is so freaking toasty warm. I'm okay with this little bit of snow. And it's only forecast for snow just today and today only. And then it's like clear blue skies for another few days. But how breathtaking is this? Oh, wow. the beautiful part about snow it just completely changes the landscape okay I'm cold Oh, guys, it is so toasty warm in the van. Whoo, my hands are freaking cold. I think it's forecast for between minus one and minus seven degrees Celsius today. So chilly enough for me to say, you know what? I'd rather stay at home and enjoy this beautifulness <laughs> from in here. Can you guys hear that? Probably not with Disco's noise. But I woke up to the sound of the waves crashing. So freaking amazing. <sighs> Alright, well I guess we should find something to do with you guys today. <laughs> do we go somewhere? Do we just stay at home? Hmm. Whew. I'm going to make myself a French vanilla. That's the first thing. Oh my gosh, my hands are so cold. Burr. So good. Does rubbing your hands together really make that much of a difference? I don't know. You just see it in the movies, so you, <laughs> you should just try it. Oh, so good. Okay. I've had my time here in Qualicum Beach. We're done. It's still snowing a little bit outside, but we're gonna move on up the road. <laughs> it's been two days down here at this beach and I'm getting tired of the view, so it's time to change it up a little bit. Doing a quick little bit of dishes. Disco is well enjoying his snowy day in bed. <laughs> He's so adorable. Hi, buddy. Hey, you having a good day today? You having a good day today? <laughs> this is awesome. Dishes are done, we're gonna hit the road. We're gonna move on up the road, buddy, is that okay? You wanna come up front? You wanna come up front? <laughs> so grumpy in the morning. Oh, he's so grumpy. Woo! 
little bit of a chore to get in the front seat. Ah, <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> wow. These snowflakes still falling. Ooh, and a little bit chilly. Brr. <laughs> you gotta love like an old historic church. That one in the snow was pretty freaking awesome. We're in Parksville, BC, and I pulled into the boat marina looking for a shower. So far, no signs around here anywhere. So we're gonna go track down some Wi-Fi and see if we can find that shower because this guy has got the stank. Knock, knock. Do you guys have showers here? Uh, we do, but you got a boat in the No. That's the key, you gotta have a boat in the really? Yeah, be paying for it, yeah. Um, other than that, I would recommend trying um, the Ravenstone Pool in Colicum. They have a shower here at the boat marina, but as you guys... But unless you have a boat in the harbor here, they don't allow you to use them because they've had too many travelers come through and vandalize it. We're gonna sponge bath again today, even though I really, really need a shower. I'm thinking... This is secluded enough. That water looks clear enough. If I can get down there without falling in, because that just goes boom. <laughs> I am going to just open up the side doors of my van and have a shower right here. I wonder if I can get down close enough to get water out. Oh yeah, we're good over there. I've done this before. <laughs> I know there's a lot of little options I've seen out there where people have bought in like actual shower curtains with magnets and magneted them around the door so nobody could see around the front or the back. But I don't do this enough to want to take up more space in the van than what this little bag folds up to taking. What I usually do is I boil up, ooh, I boil up some super hot water and I pour it directly into this bag. Inside of this bag here also has a ton of like, whoop, ton of cold water. The first few times I showered like this, I was by a fresh creek and the water was super, super clear. So I didn't waste any of my drinking water and I wouldn't consider this a waste anyway. Today I ended up filling this up with just my drinking water and there's a substantial amount in there, like maybe about five liters of water, but I got tons of storage. Each of these containers are 27 freaking liters. They got tons of water in the van and a majority of this trip I'm going to be traveling through town so there's going to be lots of places to fill up the water. I'm not really too worried. Ugh. The last one's done. Ooh. Oh, it stopped snowing, which is good. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's still snowing. We're going to have a shower in sub-zero weather <laughs> in the snow. Oh, van life, you rock. Ready for this? <laughs> All right. Boots off. Ooh. 
feet on the cold ground. Oh. That was like amazingly refreshing. It was awesome because all this stuff here just like dripped all the way down. Nice, good, clean shower. We showered in the snow. It's probably, I don't know, minus one or minus two degrees Celsius out today. <sighs> Does this ever feel so good? Looking back at life, you'd have never caught me dead doing this before. Uh-uh. <laughs> no freaking way. I was the guy that I would rather just have a shower in a bathroom that's got heated tiles. Now look at me. Out here in the freaking winter and the snowflakes are falling and there I'm buck ass naked on the side of a city freaking street having a super quick shower. <laughs> oh, that feels so good guys. All I used is this super cheap, like five or $10 camp shower from Amazon. And you can buy these things freaking anywhere. This is like a piece of garbage. It's already ripping and stuff like that. But uh, I've never used the hose on the end of this. What I do is I hang the bag up, I open this whole thing wide open, and I hold it upwards, right? I hold it up and then I just drop it down a little bit to let what I need on it. The reason why I like using it this way is when I'm ready to just dump all that hot water on me at the end of it, it just feels so good because it's like, whoa, all over the place. Instead of the silly little trickle that comes out of the end of the thing that comes with this, ah, I don't know guys, for five bucks, whatever, 10 bucks, whatever. It works and I feel freaking amazing. At this point, I could toss this to the side right now. I'm not gonna, but I could toss it and it would be worth the five or ten dollars that I paid for it because that shower just made me feel like a million bucks okay maybe not a million but it definitely made me feel like 50 bucks for sure anyway So many types of people get into this lifestyle. Not everybody in van life is the same and not everybody's van needs the same things. I'm a city boy and a town van dweller. That's where I feel at the most comfortable. Even though lately I've been seeking a bit of backcountry, I always seem to come back into town every few days. Well, I kind of have to because I YouTube for a living, so I need the Wi-Fi. But this lifestyle attracts so many different types of people and not everybody's gonna need a shower built into their van. Some people are okay with just doing what I did with a shower bag out on a tree once in a while. Some people like the big pop-up showers. Some people really feel the need to build the ones here where they have the back doors and they put the big curtain around it, which is a great idea, by the way. So I think if you're gonna get into the van and you're not really sure if you're ever gonna shower inside of your van, having something portable like that shower bag is such a great idea. There are so many different options out there though. Like you can put those portable hot water on demand units in. You could actually fully build a shower in the back of the van, which isn't that bad of idea actually. If you built a little lip down here, like a little baby tub with a small lip and a hole in the ground, and you put a shower curtain here and around here, I could totally build a little shower inside of my van and just have it drain out the bottom. Pretty good idea, but there's so many little options. But keep in mind though, when you're commenting on videos and stuff like that, that not everybody is gonna do the same van life as you would. Like there are some backcountry desert dwelling boondockers on here that that's what they seek, not me. I last in those scenarios a yeah, couple days and I'm like, gotta go back and get some Wi-Fi. But it's always good to have an emergency shower kit. Like I feel top of the world today. And I wouldn't have felt top of the world if it wasn't for that 10 or $20 little shower bag. It's a good purchase, a good thing to keep with you. The first time showering in one of those things wasn't so comfy. Today was, ah, uh, I am so freaking happy that I had a shower in the snow and I feel damn good about it. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow with, I don't know, whatever we do. If you're new here, welcome to Van City Van Life. We film everyday van life on this channel. Everything, including me showering in the snow. 
<laughs> Alright you guys, um, if you want to come over and kind of get to know us a little more, know where we are in real time and our travels and see pictures from our day-to-day -day adventures and little video clips, um, Patreon is the place for that. You can come on over there and check us out there. Um, super fun. Alright, bye. Oh, Disco looks so cute right now. He's like, Daddy, let's go. <laughs> he looks so cute. Uh, you want a bath? <laughs> bath time for him. As soon as we hit the next big town, he's going for a bath. <laughs> he needs one worse than me. He smells so bad. <sighs> okay, bye now. Bye.